Sir Tiny Creatures of the Universe, are you struggling to find people in game to be able to, you know, actually get your first 20 bomb or get get a lot of damage, get a lot of high kills, uh, high kill games? Everyone thinks that high kill games and high damage games are to do with how good you are at the game. And please don't. Please don't. I will kill you first. Oh my goodness gracious, oh my goodness gracious. We're going in there boys. We're going in there boys. Okay, but as I was saying, everyone thinks that, you know, the amount of kills that you get in a game really depends on how good your aim is and how, how good your movement is and stuff like that. Although, yes, that is very true in helping you get these high kill games. The main thing that you need to do when actually going for these high kill games, oh god. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. As I was saying, the main thing that you need to worry about when going for these high kill, high damage games are the rotations. Now, I do coaching on Fiverr, right? Oh, I used to. I don't do, I don't do that much coaching anymore. Because, look at that. This man just got absolutely outplayed. <gasps> I was going to say, if he killed me there... Let me try to get a normal sentence in without actually trying to murder everyone in the lobby. The main method to get in high damage and high kill games, boys, is rotations. And whenever I do the coaching on fivers, whenever whenever I do the coaching, right, whenever, whenever someone pays me to coach them, I always focus on the speed at which they move at and the rotations at which they follow. Because you could have the best gun skill in the game. You could have the most cracked movement. But if you're not running into people, you're not going to be... Oh, perfect. You're not going to be finding the kills, you know? Okay, we died. I'm sad. I want to talk about rotations today, and I really want to try to increase the amount of damage and, and, and kills you get per game. And the way we're going to do this is I'm going to load into the game, we're going to look at a drop angle, and we're going to discuss where you should be going always. Now, the thing about rotations, guys, it's very important to be consistent with the rotations that you do. So making sure that you do the same rotations basically every game, like relatively similar rotations every game. Now, it may not work well some games, but it will work very, very well other games. You know what I mean? So you're going to get times where it doesn't work very well and times where it does work very well because sometimes people have very strange jump angles. But so we're going to load into this game. We're going to see the jump angle and then we're going to discuss where you should be landing. We see this drop angle right here. That's fine. We'll go with this one. And let's just... So ladies and gentlemen, just so you do not get confused, the line of the ship uh, is going to be an orange. So you see this line right here? I'm going to replace it with an orange line, just so we know. Oh my god, that is awful. That's a little bit. Just so we know what way the ship is going. Now I'm going to also draw an arrow right here, indicating which, which direction the ship is going. And the rotations are actually going to be in red. This particular drop angle, you need to realize that the new places... Are, are far away, the Spotted Lake, the crash site. Although Broken Array is kind of new, not not too many people land there typically. Um, and it doesn't really have the best rotations. So right here, you also realize that the cage is hot drop, right? The place that I always love to land, okay, listen to this. I always love to land labs. This is just me. I always like to land labs. And then from labs, okay, so you land labs, you check capacitor, right? You, you kill everyone in the labs, blah, blah, blah. You're through the tunnel right here and you check in capacitor, right? You can go up wherever it doesn't matter just check the whole of capacitor you don't really need to go all the way back here it takes too long just check capacitor and once you're done at capacitor okay you go back to labs listen back to labs and then you from labs right from here you take the portal all the way to the cage and when you fly to the cage hopefully it's because it's, it's hot drop there will be people there all right you know what i mean so hopefully so hopefully you wouldn't have had to rotate too far to get some kills so labs capacitor labs cage now from cage it's kind of a little bit different because you need to realize that market is going to be very far away uh bunker is going to be very far away that's why you at the start of every game you got to remember the line of the ship remember what places what named places the ship went over so typically there are going to be more people at repulsor hydro dam maybe labs again you could go back to labs after you've done the cage now the reason you can go back to the locations that you already visited is because of slow rotators so for example one or two teams landed swamps right or one or two teams landed rig right when you go from labs to capacitate capacitor about to call it capacitator once you go from labs to capacitor back to cage the team while where while you're a cage because we rotated so early the teams from the rig and swamps would have rotated into capacitor, would have rotated into labs, okay? 
And that means when you go back to labs, it's not even bad to go all the way, do the same rotation again, go back to capacitor, check if anyone's there. Because again, people from Broken Relay could have gone there, right? Capacitor right here is going to be the place where a lot of people are going to fight because the, the places that typically not a lot of people land at, like the Broken Relay, the Rig, but all these places around, the people are going to be going inward towards capacitor. Do you know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. So realistically, unless the zone, right, if the zone is over here, like if, if the ring is, is going to be is going to be over here, then it's worth to push into bunker, check the pit, check runoff, check airbase, check all these places because people that landed the new places would have rotated inward to these places. Do you know what I mean, boys? So we're going to do this one more time. From labs to capacitor, back to labs, to cage, to labs, to capacitor, back to labs, Take a flight, take a flight all the way to these little places right here. These three buildings right here are kind of cracked, right? Then, because because you have because you have high ground up here, you can check if they're going to be people at containment, right, from this high right here. So it doesn't mean you need to run all the way there. You can just check because you have a good vantage point. And if people push in, if pe if for some reason people decide to land bunker, they're going to be pushing in upwards because they're probably going to be hearing fights of capacitor, or they might see you up here and they might push you. Don't stay still all the time. You need to make sure that you're going to be consistently running across the map all the time now this little thing right here this ship don't worry too much about it kind of useless you're never going to really not at most one team will land there so don't worry too much about it but boys you need to remember if you want a lot of kills if you want a lot of damage you need to move fast okay very very fast so now let's get let's get rid of this line let's get rid of this orange line let's try and try a different drop angle now we're going to try this drop angle right here so forget about this line right here forget about this this orange line okay i don't have to get rid of it so just leave it for now we're going to go a typical drop angle which is from water treatment all the way up to crash site um, and I'm going to just draw a double line. Oh, let me, let's do it a little bit lower. Let's do it right here. So we're going to draw an arrow going up. So don't, again, don't worry about this. This is, this is out of the question. This is gone. Okay. So from this drop angle, you're going to get a lot of people jumping water treatment. And okay, let, now let's pretend the new hot drop. Let's pretend hot drop is still cage. Okay. So you're going to obviously get a lot of people jumping instantly at water treatment. Market, Mirage, Salvage, a lot of people like landing Mirage. Like, there are a lot of people who enjoy landing Mirage. I don't know why. So, in this drop angle, this is where Floating Koala would land. Floating Koala has a thing with Skull Town, you know. So, I would have landed Salvage just because it's Salvage and it's basically Skull Town and I like it. Um, but there aren't too many people that always land it. But the reason I also land is because there's a balloon right here, which means it's easy for rotations. Now, the most populated places that you're going to get around this area are going to be Water Treatment, Market, Mirage, Salvage, Gauntlet and Bunker. These are the main places you're going to find people, okay? And this little town right here, whatever. This town needs a name. This little, this needs a name. So these are going to be the most populated places. Like I said, Water Treatment, Mirage, Salvage, Market, blah, blah, blah. These, these places that are close to the ship angle. Containment and these new places will 100% have squads there. Not a lot of squads, so it's not worth waiting to the end of the ship to jump. But they will have squads there. So if the circle is going to be up here, okay? And you can't seem to, for some reason, find anyone in these places. You instantly rotate up to the center of the zone and just start running around until you find people, basically. Now, if the zone is going to end here, what I like to do, right, is I go from pit, I go spotted lake, crash site, artillery. You just kind of do a spiral, an inward spiral, until you find people. And then if you don't find anyone, you go back and do it the other way. And you continuously do it until you find as many people as you can. Now, guys, you need to be extremely quick with this, like I said. For the, all right, so let's do the actual drop angle, or let's do actual, the actual rotations from this drop angle. I would personally go to Salvage, and then from Salvage, I would check Mirage. From Mirage, I would check Gauntlet, and then from Gauntlet, I would go back to Salvage, because like I said, the, the late rotators, if you're going to be rotating so early, the late rotators from maybe Water Treatment, okay, Market, looting these little town would have rotated in towards salvage okay so you probably don't even need to move to get the kills okay so after you go from salvage to mirage to gauntlet to back to salvage then go to market okay then what you can do is you go you go through the little tunnel uh, at market and check the cage okay you don't need to go all the way to the cage you check down here you, you this, that's the reason i like running the two times because with the two times you can aim in and scout for people that are really far away so you come here check if there's anyone in the cage if there's no one in the cage you don't go this way you don't go, you go straight towards Bunker. Like I said, the populated places, you've already checked all of them. And Water Treatment, you don't need to check because it would have been such a hot drop that there's probably only going to be one squad there. And it's not really worth just going to get one squad. You want to be pushing multiple squads at the same time, right? It, obviously, you can go do that if you want, but this is just how I would play it out. Um, and then from Bunker, uh, the, uh, the, you would have you wouldn't know where the zone is by this point. So like I said, if the zone is here, um, you just keep going inwards, you check containment. Uh, you check up here, you go capacitor, labs, hydro, you just check the places, right? Um, main thing, if it's a zone like this, right? So, for example, let's, let's go back a little bit. If it's a zone like, like this, okay? 
you're not going to be wanting to check all the way here. Why, why would you check here? Okay, maybe, yeah, there's going to be a weird squad there. You don't need to check that, though. Okay, make sure you stick to the populated and named locations. So, most likely, there are going to be people in this area right here. Most likely, they're going to be people in this area, this area, this area, this area. Not too much swamps. Not, not many people go swamps, so don't, don't even worry about checking that. But check, check your name locations and be consistent with how fast you move and where you move every game. Okay, so... Boys, there's really not much I can say other than being fast with your rotations. In ranked, is completely different. Don't follow these rotations as ranked. Ranked is just a whole different ball game. You don't want, you want to be talking about that here. We can save that for another video after I actually hit Pred. But, yeah, these rotations, the main thing, guys, you need to be moving fast. Moving fast and checking the named locations, right? That is it. Uh, that has been the video. That, that's all I really need to tell you guys. And so what I'm going to do in the next couple of videos, uh, I really, I like teaching you guys, okay? Because a lot of you guys actually get help from this. There's a lot of you guys who watch the videos but don't really listen. But there are some of you guys that actually watch this video, take notes, and actually listen to what I'm telling you. And you actually end up seeing an improvement, which is what I like to see and what I like to hear from you guys. The, another very important tip when it comes to this, follow your gut. Wherever you feel like there are going to be people, you go there and there are most likely going to be people, okay? Your brain is smart. Okay, you know, you know dumb dumb, you smart smart, you know where to go. Anyway, boys, that's been the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Um, I love you, and hope this helped out a little bit. Have a good day, guys. Apex Legends is dying. It's really sad, yeah, I know. We've spent so